How's it going, YouTube? We're revisiting some Catamon today. It is a brand new roguelike auto battler. It's got a pinch of Pokemon. It's got a dash of super auto pets over here. Maybe a heap of Slay the Spire added in. It's all wrapped beautifully into this nice, adorable little game here. Last time we did just a taste, just playing the first arc here. Now we're going to try the whole thing. There's a lot to learn, a lot to cover here. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, we're back with some Catamon here. So... We've got started to get a feel for how this game works. So we're going to try going a little further than the first arc this time. And as usual, kind of Pokemon style, we got grass, fire, and water. Um, they do both have double typed elements though, importantly. Now I kind of want to get a bee leaf run going. So let's start out with you. And I've told you this last time, I am horrible with the Pokemon type things. So I have a little cheat sheet here. <laughs> A little type effectiveness. So we're good against, because we're, what are we? Grass and bug. Bad against fire, flying, metal, ice, poison. Quite a few of them. But the ones we're good against, ground, rock, water, psychic. That's about it. <laughs> and dark. So let's see. There's earth. I believe that's ground. Ground Rock, Psychic, Dark Water. I mean, this path seems kind of good. We are against a mini boss, though. Mini bosses are menacing. Maybe we take this right path. We get two campsites instead. And we get to do extra damage against this ground, homie. After battle, grant three random allies one health. Okay, so we got a scaler. Yeah, so how it works is once you beat this guy, you can then recruit him on your team kind of idea and this should we should make easy work of this guy it shouldn't be an issue look at that look at all this damage down to one and we're good so we're gonna get some experience get a few homies we can recruit him on our team for some gradual scaling ally regen triggered you gain one heart seems okay Oh, so this gains permanent attack. That's huge. I think we do this. 25% chance to not consume items. <laughs> okay, we could just spam the permanent attack guy. Let's try it. Okay, so now these all got some health. Let's try it. 25%. Can we do it? No. <laughs> We did not hit the Lucky Clover, which is fine. We weren't expecting to. Well, let's move on. So now we don't have any choices. We're going to go against Physical and Toxic, which according to our little chart, um, see, they're, they're called different stuff. It's Fighting and Poison in Pokemon terms, but there's really no relation there. Um, poison is good against Grass, so... We're going to be in a little bit of trouble here. Maybe we start with it like this. You're going to get give this guy some shield, I guess is fine. It's early enough that we probably don't have to worry about it, but later on the typing is going to make a big difference. Okay. I mean, we're doing a lot of damage here. The snows. Three typings. So is it good to get multiple typings? Because they pass it off like it is, but sometimes I don't feel like it. So we could get another grass. But turn one of the allies in front decay into region. This seems like a weird pet. Maybe we just grab a Skimu, call it a day. Seems more likely to be good than our other alternatives. Okay, so I want to try to get kind of stuff like this, right? Where we have a chance of getting our Lucky Clover. I'm not going to buy it right now because I'd rather get some good pets there. Sorry, some good Catamons. I'm still in Super Auto Pets talk. Okay, so we got Dark, Fire, and Grass. Which I think ground is actually going to be really good with. 
Yeah, so our tank homie here should be perfectly fine into these guys. Uh, maybe? <laughs> Hold on, maybe not. What types are you? You're just ground. Oh shoot, just kidding. Grass is really strong against ground. That's an issue. Yeah, so this nose guy is kind of cooking us here. Again, won't matter because it's early enough, but something to consider. Okay, keep scaling. What do we got here? Fire is tempting. Strength applied deal too frail to the front enemy. I can't tell if frail is actually good or not. But I kind of feel like, I mean, this pairs well with our um, belief homie. Heal ally ahead. Ooh, we got a healing mechanism. All right, maybe we try this. I kind of want to get rid of this knock here. Are any of these guys good? Enemy dizzy triggered. Okay, hold on. We switch you out. The bad boon. We trigger his ability at the beginning. So it applies dizzy. So he automatically gets strength and thorns whenever the dizzy triggers. Um, okay, so every time that guy attacks, you get strength and thorns. That seems really good. Let's try that. Which I guess, I mean, it's probably better to have you here than you, right? Yeah, you can just keep scaling us even if you're not our main tank. Okay, I like where we're at here. Now we get a nice little campsite. We want experience or lightning? Lightning seems pretty good. Um, we already have water coverage. It would cover flying, which would be good. That's about it. And it would make them weak to ground. Okay, so maybe that's not actually good. What if we just belief? Try to get you cooking. I feel like it needs some sort of animation when you give him experience there. Not just like, all right, moving on, <laughs> you know? Okay, so let's see. This is dark, I believe. Dark is good against what? Ghost? Ghost and psychic? Well, we're good there. We're another dark homie. And then we've got electric, ground, and electric. A lot of electric. Fortunately, Bad Boon is not going to take much damage from that. So I think we just send it. Okay, we got some Dizzy. Oh, dude, we're cooking out here. These guys do a lot of damage, actually. Okay, so now you're Dizzy. Which doesn't really matter, I guess. The summoned guys have super slow attack speed. So they usually die before they actually end up attacking. But in this case, it doesn't matter too much. Oh, we did get shocked. The shock is a little concerning. It's very strong. We gotta take these homies out quick. Okay, he's at one health. Can he pull it through? Okay, um, this is actually very close. Can we clutch it? I believe it is 57 shock. That was way too close for comfort. Dude, I'm telling you, shock is kind of insane. Okay. Um, I don't think we care about this. On a bull baby? Or grant 110 EXP. So this is another scaler. It's a tank scaler, which we already have two tanks. I don't think we want more. I mean, we have so many tank options here. Maybe we just skip 
get some experience here. Um, can we get you almost to level two? You can evolve him soon here. I, I mean, I will stay away from mini bosses as much as possible. Those things are a menace. Unit gains this type. So we could get a bug on somebody, I guess. I don't think we really care that much though. Maybe we just get experience. I, I can tell there's a whole strategy to the certain typing combinations and stuff, but I just don't know them well enough to say. Okay, so now it triggers two allies ahead super one time. So now we're going to want him in position three or four. Um, let's see. Water. Poison. Ice. Poison. Ew. This looks a little eerie. So grass is going to get nuked. We got to be very careful there. I think we set it up like this. And we try to heal you with this guy. Yeah, I think this is the way to do it. Keep you as far away from all of these guys as possible. And we'll see what we can do. Okay, so we got one Dizzy on here already. That's a huge hit. I mean, Stagnant should take out the, the Krees pretty quickly. Because he's water type. Um, hopefully at least. Okay, one more hit should do it. Oh, Kreez is... Oh, he was about to attack. I'm glad we were able to get that one down. So the bad boon is not really getting his full gist out of this one. You know, he's not getting a ton of thorn, a ton of attack. A little disappointing, to be honest. Oh, huge leaf thrown there. Love it. Gosh. This Grubuddy needs to go now, <laughs> like yesterday. Oh, he has one health. Okay, okay. The, the Thorns gets it, I think. No, what is this? I don't know what this is. Trigger per stack. Where did this come from? I'm confused. One of the tricky parts about this game, it's hard to tell sometimes what happened. <laughs> you know? Uh, we could apply some slow, maybe. Sure. Put it on a really fast attacker. I mean, this is a super fast homie. I still don't know what units in the box means. Heal one times Katamon in the box to all enemies. What does that mean? I'm confused. Okay, so this works well with some like general shield synergies. Oh, and this guy just like slowly increases everything. So he gets slower and then just explodes all of it into strength. That's pretty good. Maybe we try an expendable. So let's get you out of here. Throw you in the mix. See how that does for us. And yeah, I don't love Baboon. But we're kind of stuck with him for the time being. Let's see what we get here. You can gain a random item and lose morale. Gain two items and lose 20. Okay, so how risky do we want to be? I mean, I'm always going to full send, right? <laughs> See what we can find. We didn't even get to see what items we got. Lose three gold to gain two items. Battle a mini boss for five gold. I mean, I'll just take two of these, right? Couple shop things, whatever those are called. Do I get to go to the shop? No? Okay. Okay, we got a couple grass, we got a fire, we got a dark. 
So grass, how does that work against dark here? Okay. So dark is a very good tank for, against these guys. I think this looks great. Okay, so this general ability is where the last wish came from. In one health and trigger my super. First stack, remove all stacks. Okay. So this is where you want to get some synergies of different abilities, but you don't want a full stack because then you're more susceptible to counters. Okay. I don't know why you all just got nuked. <laughs> Was it you? Was it our expendable? Oh, it was. Maybe in the box just means the total number of catamons you have available. You know, like in the Pokemon games, there was like the PC box or whatever. It'd be like, my box or like Professor Oak's box. Oh, dude, I love the Medusa hair. Okay. I think this just deals two extra, or two instead of one, and then heals more. Sure. And then who do we want to grab here? Hmm. Okay. So this is. This guy's not great. On start, gain five stealth. Okay. This is like the the plants versus zombies shroom guy that hides in the ground. This is an ally summon synergy. I don't think I like any of these too much. Maybe we'll grab a feeling just to have him there. Oh, this is the box. It's literally called the box. Okay. <laughs> I need to pay more attention. Okay, so yeah, this guy deals damage based on how many homies we got chilling in here. And now we can see our jetpacks. On attack, gain, a he gain attack damage and take damage. Who would that be good with? Um. So this guy heals the guy in front of him. So maybe... Is this ally ahead immediately ahead or any of these three? Maybe we try this because we know you're going to get healed. So that's just extra attack. We can get thorns, that's pretty good on you. Um, while shielded, so while you have a shield, reduce damage taken by 25 is pretty good. You can apply slow. That seems very good on you because you attack super fast. Okay. I mean, Expendable is actually pretty solid. Now that I figured out how this thing works, we should try to get him leveled up. And we could... I, I wish we got more money and we could buy more stuff. But it feels really bad trying to target buying stuff. Okay. I mean, we were just talking about trying to get this homie leveled, so let's do that. See what his evolution looks like. Oh, he's like a rocker. A punk rock platypunk. Love it. So now every time he attacks, he deals however much in our box to two random enemies. And then deals twice that amount to all enemies when his energy is triggered. That seems pretty solid. Alright, we have reached the final boss. If we lose this one, we lose it all. This guy does grass damage. I like our... Bad Boon. I think he's going to be very good here. I think we just full send it. We could run up healing, but I don't I don't think we need to. So this is just a giant tank that we have to take on. He attacks very quickly. Which works well for Dizzy. Because that's just going to give you a ton of thorns. Okay, so now you're up to 40. See how quickly we can get through this guy. Good. I 
Yeah, the bad boon, his like super ability doesn't seem to charge up very quick. He's not getting thorns very quick either. I'm not sure if this guy just isn't attacking much. Or maybe this Dizzy just isn't triggering much. I don't know. It's not an RNG thing though, so I'm not sure. Okay, so you need to start healing. Okay, you got two. <laughs> That's not great. At this rate, our stagnant is going to nuke himself before anybody is actually getting it done. He has five fortitude. Okay. Down to eight health, but he's at 26 damage. Dude, you got to heal, Mr. Eldritch. Okay, good. You got another heal. I'm hoping we can hit the Queen Struction. Good, with the stagnant. Okay, this Eldritch is just barely holding us in here. He's doing 10 damage. Clearly he's not very strong against the Queen Struction here. Can the Eldritch save you? No, you're done. Oh, just kidding, the last wish. Ooh, hold on. And then you get healed. We have a chance. We have a ton of decay on him now. Oh, dude, that was clutch. The last wish is so good. That was a that was a toughie. Okay, after super deal one, eh, that seems pretty whatever. We get shield. Hold on, ally a head hurt, gain two attack. That seems so good. It seems insane, actually. Unhurt, grant ally behind three max. Now, does that carry over between rounds? Or is that during the round? Probably during. That would be too strong, I think. Um, We could gain a health, shield, and attack. I'll grab it, I guess. I don't know if I love it. The bad boon doesn't seem to be doing all that much. I'm just going to be straight up here. Gain bonus the XP. I don't know if that's worth it. You know, like, do we just ditch the bad boon? Say that he's not doing enough and try to pivot into somebody else? Unfortunately, we don't really have a better alternative yet. If we can get some decay synergy, that would be huge. Maybe we look for a decay tank, if there is one. LA heal, who cares? Okay, that could be good. That's at least some synergy. Because then this triggers all of those and then heals are stagnant. It's probably better than thorns, right? In the long run. It's only three gold anyways, let's try it. Let's throw you on here. Um, <laughs> none of these are really that good on the Eldritch. I mean, maybe the Platypunk we could put. Let's see, you're going to be in front more. Switch it kind of like that, maybe. I don't love our item layout right now, but I think we're okay. Alright, so since we want to get Decay, we want to look for some Poison types. Toxic, sorry, Toxic types. Let's go here. Do we find a good Decay guy? Oh, okay. That's huge. Purple might be the way to do it. Okay, so what, what is Poison good against again? <laughs> Very strong against Grass, that's terrifying. So we want to get ground homies. So maybe we go here. His ground is strong against poison. And then full send it, I guess. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. 
You're just gonna have to carry us, Mixer Ox, Mr. Oximp. He's very slow attacking though. Okay, a lot of a decay. But we're kinda cooking here. Our Oxim damage is going into this dude. That's very unfortunate. Okay, Stagnant, you gotta take out this homie. Thank you. God, there's so many of these guys. Alright, now Oxim can deal damage. But these guys are really weak, so I guess we don't actually need to. Alright, cool. And he just nuked himself. Good work, Stagnant. <laughs> just offed himself. Okay, I, it's gotta be Plurple, right? After Ally Super, I mean, that's also pretty good, though. We do that and keep the tank rotating. Grants adjacent allies 20% of all decay as energy. Oh, I like that actually. I like it. Let's try it. Okay, so we'll ditch the Platypunk. So now we're in kind of a weird, who do we use the Stagnant on, right? I think we leave it like this. Maybe it'll still activate with like the ordering. I'm not really sure, but we'll see. And then, yeah, let's say we don't care about any of those. Keep our money run on. Okay, so we got some water. We got some flying, flying water. How does that do against ground? Water is very effective, so let's let's get rid of you. I think Bad Boon is gonna be the way to do it. Or maybe Platypunk. Hold on, Toxic. Yeah, actually, let's do Platypunk. Throw you in the mix. Still get the damage from you. Ooh, eight damage to everybody. Look at that. Okay, so this is water ice type. So Stagnant should be doing a ton to him. Actually, they're all doing a ton to him. That guy just got insta nuked. Okay. This is a good combo. We're getting a lot going as far as healing from our Eldritch. Or Eldstritch. Is that like Ostrich? But Eldritch creature? Not sure. <laughs> Alright, y'all can stop attacking. We're done. He's dead, Jim. Okay, I don't think we want any of these. We're going like a poison build, right? We don't care about these. Try to get you going. I like you. But then you're just triggering even more of these guys going. And then, yeah, let's cook. I like where we're sitting here. Dude, I really don't like the mini bosses. Oh, I right clicked to try to get more information and then it went in. <laughs> so I guess we're here now. Steel, what does steel get against? Um, Steel is strong against ice. And what else? Rock. And fairy. I think we're good. I don't think we care about this guy's effect. So on faint, summon three knocks with health equal to his attack. Okay, so we just try to kill him super fast so he doesn't get humongous knocks. Which it looks like we're gonna do successfully. Like this mini boss is like chill. Like easy mode. <laughs> Some of the other guys are just insane. I don't get it. I still don't know what a shop ticket does. I'm kinda confused. Okay. I mean we could just put some slow on him, call it a day. 
Gain two bonus gold after every battle. Lose 10 morale when you spend gold. That seems a little much. Turn all water types into ice types. Is that even good? Ace has more weaknesses than water does, so... Probably not. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna say we probably don't want that. Maybe we do this one. We're not like losing a whole lot. And I think we just stick with the build we got going here. Until we find a reason to change. Let's go mystery event, see what happens. Gain a Babaril? Gain a random field effect? What the heck is a Babaril? Let's find out. It's a Babaril brunch. Is that like a homie? Again, I feel like we need a... We need some sort of animation to show you what just happened. Okay. That is legendary. That is exactly what we want. Okay. This is the perfect decay build. I love it. Let's just make sure we're not going to get nuked. So we got to watch out for ground and f and fairy. No, psychic. Ground and psychic are really good against poison. Um, fortunately, we don't have any ground or psychic. What about earth? What is that weak against? Grass, water, ice. Not a problem. None of that to be found here. Yeah, I mean, these guys are just cooking now. So we're not like super strong against them, except I guess Eldritch seems to be. But we can we can go as long as we want. We got so much sustain here. And then every time we fly decay you get shielded. Yeah, I mean we're like kind of juggernaut team right here. Maybe we should speed this up a little bit. This seems like it's going to take a while. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? Why are we getting nuked? The one guy just instantly died and everyone else is fine. I'm not sure what that was. But we're good. We're cooking now. Um, let's see. Any revive? No. I don't really have any good synergies here. Maybe we just get one. Hold him in the shop here. Grant ally behind. Okay, so we don't care about that one. Well, hold on. Let's switch this one out. And we can give you the weird berry. So you just d get more decay out there. That seems pretty good. Okay. I don't like these level up options. I'd like to get a health potion, but now that we're going to keep losing morale every time we buy something, I'm a little hesitant. Okay, we definitely want to stay away from this guy, because he's going to nuke our front line. So let's go this way. Alright. So just a bunch of electric homies. I think we're good there. Electric can't do anything to us. Alright, while they're doing that, let's see what they all do. Not a whole lot. I'm um, just kidding. We're doing kind of a lot. Okay, we're good. These battles seem like they take so long, but if you speed it up, it's so hard to tell what's happening. Ooh, hold on. So we got a Bannock. Grant two max, and then you take damage. Seems okay. What about our- oh, our knock is leveling up? What do you turn into? I didn't know you can level up. Just a- a knock still? Okay. Um, this- we have a, so many level ups. What the heck? 
Okay, what are you at? Grant four random allies. Oh yeah, 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 okay. So you just gain more attack. Dude, this was that five level ups all at once? Crazy. There's another one? Where are these all coming from? Hey, Plasma, what do you turn into? Ten Taser, okay. Oh yeah, I love it. Alright, full send. Um, definitely getting some bonus EXP for you. That seems fantastic. And we still don't want to buy any of these, so we're going to keep going. Okay, so we have to watch out for this guy. Earth is very strong against poison. So we may need to switch you out. Because otherwise you're going to get insta-nuked. So ground... I think we throw in another ground here. Oh, ground is weak against grass, and there's a lot of... We got grass and bug. See, this is tough. This is going to be a tricky one. Lowest max health enemy must attack this unit. Do we go fire? We could try fire. I don't... I think it just does normal damage with this typing. Maybe we just do a platypunk. Call it a day, you know? That might be the safest play here. Oh, within the grass and the water. Dude, there's no winning. Dark, I think, is the only one that's most likely not going to get lost here. I'd almost rather just have single typing on my guys. It makes it so much easier to keep track of. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good here. I think this was the right play, throwing the Amangatan in here. Because he was able to tank a ton of hits. The Lamala. What do you do? Luchalore. Okay. A lot going on here. I don't think we need you. What are you holding? Alright, that's fine. Babaril. Oh, we haven't used you yet, I don't think. Let's see what you do. Iso Troop. Oh, no, we have used you. You were original. Okay. Who do we want to keep here? Anybody? After battle, spawn a Bulberry or grant 120 XP. Yeah, that seems good, but doesn't fit with our team, obviously. I think we skip. Our bag is full anyways. Throw it on you. I think we switch you back. Mangatan we could buy here. Whalebone. I mean, I kind of just want to keep going here. Oh, the shop tickets let you... Oh, that makes more sense. So we can refresh the guys that we don't want. I understand now. You can combine items, but not homies. Okay. What does this do? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> sure. Alright, well we definitely get 10 taser here. That didn't go up at all. What the heck? I guess we try to get you, but if it turns into three allies ahead, that's gonna be kinda iffy. And by iffy, I mean not very good. Deal four damage to the back enemy. Okay, I don't think we care about these. Let's just keep pushing along here. These rounds are so long. <laughs> I feel like we've been going forever. Dark. Is dark good against poison? No. Ground and fairy. Nope. Ground and psychic are. 
You're a good front tank unit. Let's go. Oh, dude, he's taking a lot of hits. He's hanging in there, though. What the heck is this thing? Oh, it's a lot of decay. Fortunately, we're good. Select an item. What do we got? Ally summon, battle start. Yeah, these all kind of suck. Throw a shell berry in there. Maybe we can combine it. Um, definitely get some bonus EXP, I think. I think it's about time we get rid of our knock. <laughs> I don't know if there's some bonus to getting level 3, but... Let's say we don't care for now. So close to level 3. Okay. Let's restock, see what we get. 10 taser. Almost level 3. Okay. We gotta be careful. We're down to 40 morale. If we get down to 0, we're gonna be in trouble. Okay, we'll go here, because we can go either path from here. Do we want physical typing? Hmm. Very flying psychic weaknesses. I don't understand what the typing would actually do for us. Maybe add some resistances. Okay. Where's our homie that we were playing here? I think we try to get some Eldritch going. And then Dark. Let's see. I don't think... Yeah, Dark doesn't hurt us. Fire doesn't hurt us either. Let's go this route. Seems safer. Alright. Full send. Let's do it. Dude, this guy's just a beast. He's taking zero damage. Look at this. There's so much shield. Dude, this team is insane. Okay, we maxed out our stagnant. Let's see. What do you turn into? Thrill again? What's your card do? Three, okay. I was worried about that. So here's what we're gonna have to do for that. Um, I guess we'll grab you. So you're gonna have to move you here. So you trigger everybody. So that means we have to take off the jetpack because you're gonna kill yourself. So let's do this because that pairs well with your ability. And then, oh, you have jetpack already? When did that happen? <laughs> I haven't been paying much attention, apparently. So now you're gonna heal this guy. Keep his jetpack from nuking himself. And I think we're good. Alright, one more battle until the boss. We've got dark again, not an issue. Full we'll send it. Should be an easy dub. Famous last words, maybe? Question mark. <laughs> no, I mean, these guys are so strong. None of them are taking hardly any damage. Look at that. Oh my lord. So strong. Alright. Keep going. I mean, let's just keep getting some Omegatans. Just in case we need to run him as a dark homie. It's good to have backup options. So here's the boss. See how this goes. <laughs> Knockard. So they're all neutral typing. Enemy gain status. Gain one of that status. Okay. Interesting. So if we gain like attack, then you gain attack kind of thing. Okay, so maybe we don't want jetpack then. Or maybe we don't care. Because we can't change the, the ability. We'd have to get rid of him specifically. Which seems bad. Aside from that though. I mean we're not 
gaining too many attacks here. It's just the two damage every time you attack. I think that's okay. I think we can full send it. Okay, so you're up to 11 attack. You have to be careful here. Oh, Jesus. That guy got nuked. What is going on? Why is everyone getting nuked so hard? Wait, everyone stopped getting nuked? I'm so confused. <laughs> what was killing them then? I don't understand. Okay, 10 tasers leveling. That's good. And Tesla, interesting. Alright, looking fantastic. In some of these, get a field effect. After super grant ally, max 2 health. Seems okay. I'll hold on to it. Oh, you know, that's a status. That's huge, actually. I thought I had to equip it. I definitely want to do this. Maybe we'll get our lucky clover to proc. We'll see. Nope. <laughs> we did not get it to proc. Alright. Keep it going. The final arc. The third room. This is a long game. <laughs> so, water's a little spooky. Um, grass is also a little spooky. There's a lot of all of that down here. Maybe we just do... You know, try to work our way up here. There's a poison battle. Maybe we can find a good homie there. Uh... We might need to get rid of the Isotroop here. There's a lot of water. Um, how does Dark do? Dark is pretty good here. Yeah, see this is what I mean. It helps to have this little slot in in case you're going against these guys. But I think the other guy would have been nuked already. If he were the tank up front. But this works out well. The Eldritch is evolving. Oh, this guy looks gnarly. The Octostritch? <laughs> what? Alright, looking good. Just a buffed version. Um, let's see. I don't like any of these, really. Let's just get our Platypunk cooking a little. Bring our... Where is he? Our Isa troop back up. Let's keep going. Okay, so definitely want to go Toxic again. Um, I guess you're already maxed though, so like it doesn't help to get you. We're back with water guys. And grass, so... <laughs> the Amangatan is back. He's our little catch-all, because Dark has very limited weaknesses. So he's a good slot in, in case we're getting countered. Beautiful. What happens if we get this guy? Nothing? Literally nothing? Okay. Good to know. Um... Mogila is actually really good. Hold on. We're at 40, so we have to be careful, but I think this guy is good. You know what? I was just thinking. You should probably get Spare Shell. Because you're getting a ton of shield. And we'll give you some more poison dealing. Okay, so let's try this guy out. Our straight poison tank here. Flashy advertisements on the main footpath pointing toward a Shonka shop. Okay. Appears visibly worn out, falling asleep mid-sentence. What do we want? I mean, this seems great. Hold on, does that count as spending gold, as far as morale is concerned? Hopefully not. Doesn't look like it. Good, good. Okay. So, poison is weak against ground, so you're gonna have to swap again. And this guy, the Mangatan, is just holding us down here. 
holding down the fort in a good way. Okay, looking good. Oh dude, he's absorbing so many hits here. That is so good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Dude, if we didn't have that guy, we'd be dead so long ago. Copy the passive? I don't- what are the passives? Do they have any passives? Okay, let's go here, just give you some, some loving. Um, let's see, what do we want to do? I don't think any of these are very good. I mean, Toxic Sludge kind of pairs well, doesn't it? Hey, what if we do... I know we're getting low. Wait, we got one of these? When did we get that guy? Man, dude, this Lucky Clover sucks. <laughs> oh, we got it from that event, that's right. Okay, so this works well. Wait. Oh, shoot. Bought the wrong thing. This works well, <laughs> alright. We are down to 10, this is a little iffy, but we can't buy anything anymore. Not that we really want to. But this will apply extra slow every time you get hurt. But hopefully that does some good for us. But we are against another... So many water grasses out here. Um, so we're gonna have to go Mangatan again. Just keep cooking the dark, homie. Try to get through this onslaught of water grass typing. I don't know why your stagnant is in the front. That seems kind of bad. Okay, I think we're good. A lot going on here, but we are good. Love it. Through to Catamon. I mean, this doesn't do anything, right? Get our Bannock going. Um... Okay. None of these are that good. We'll just hold it here, maybe we can combine later. Are we done with this Onslaught yet? Dark typing? We have random typing? Okay. Um, I think that's... I wish it would tell you what type that is. I can't really tell from the shade here. It's not dark. That's too dark. It doesn't look like poison. What else would it be? Is that ghost? Maybe that's a ghost typing? In which case... He's not strong against anybody, so maybe we try Smoigla. Alright, let's try this. I think this team is really solid. He's already at 20. Smoigla is getting nuked. Uh, we're all getting nuked a little bit. I thought he was supposed to be slowed. Alright, we're good. <laughs> We slowed him a bunch, but he was still cooking. Alright. Turn all grass into fire. Is that good? It's not bad, I guess. Um, or we go lightning. Turn lightning into toxic. I guess turn all types into that. I'm assuming that means the enemy too. So if we're running mostly poison, then we'd want to... No, we want to have grass then. Because poison is good against grass. Okay, so we don't want that. And then toxic we don't really care about. Maybe we just do this one. Oh, we found another toxic sludge. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll grab it, I guess. Can we combine yet? Are we supposed to, like, know which ones can combine? <laughs> Is there something that'll tell us? Because I don't. And it seems like none of them do. What do you do? On attack, apply that. And at that rate... Might as well just give you a toxic sludge. That's gonna apply more slow. 
And then... Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, we're against air fire. So I think we can use our toxic homie. Yep, none of those... None of those should have any impact on him. So let's do it. Dude, these guys attack so fast. Uh, <laughs> hold on, this is a little scary. That was very close. That was too close for comfort. Okay, the bag is full. We don't need any of them anyways. Okay, maybe we wait for the Smoiglia. Ooh, bug, is that? That's fine. We can do this guy. Because this is on her deal damage and slow. Um, that's bad. We don't want slows against this guy. Or do we? Maybe we do. Or maybe, because they're all pretty low health. I think we just throw in a Mangatan and try to nuke him real quick. That seems good. Let's try that. Wait, that's not a Mangatan. <laughs> I didn't mean to do a Mangatan. I meant the other guy. But I think we're still okay. Okay, we are good. I meant to do the, the platypus, homie. You already know what you turn into, don't Oh, no we don't. Just kidding. Platypunk into Plodfather? <laughs> what? Okay, yeah. So that's what we were originally going for. Into an Aborilla? Jesus, that guy looks insane. Okay. Then we'll recruit, just get some experience. Okay, these are all basically maxed out already. Alright, keep running. We're almost there. We're approaching the end. Taking a shortcut, bad idea. Can, can a random catamon... Gaint a random item? Whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this does. And there's no hover and I'm too scared to do it. So let's do this guy. And I don't really want to fight anyone, so let's just go to a bunch of campsites here real quick. Get the rest of them maxed out here. Um, probably start with the Smoigla. Try to get you maxed. Can we get you maxed? Oh, we can't actually. Hmm. It's pretty close. Maybe we'll get something else that can max him out. Alright, this is the final boss. He's doing ghost, I think, again. Is that ghost? I think it's ghost. Okay, so... Yeah, another one. Enemy faint summon a random portal. I don't know what portals do. Um, he attacks very quickly, so this should be very good, the Smoigla. And I wish I could sell guys here. Is there any way to go back to the shop? No, that's not the shop. Um, before battle spawn all box Catamon at level 2 with a random type. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> so I probably should have sold them. Is there any way to know that ahead of time? I don't know. Oh dude, that looks funky. How are we faring here? So far, not bad. This is going to be quite the battle. We have a ton of healing though. From this Octa stretch. Feels forward. It's just a full heal every time it triggers. That's awesome. So as long as he doesn't die immediately, we're good. Like die before he gets re-healed. I mean, we have so many slows on this guy and he's still cooking. Oh no, this is not good. Oh, dude. 
Here we go again. This is like part two. He's at a thousand health and they're all dead. Hold on. <laughs> Surely I should have gotten level three from this, right? Oh no. Deal 20 damage to ally ahead, then gain three and dizzy. We should have gotten our dizzy homie out here. I wasn't even, I didn't know that's how that worked. What is going on? Where am I? <laughs> Where is my team? I guess we're down here. I'm not sure. We have like zero health. This is not even close. <laughs> what? What is happening? Did we lose? What happened? Alright. This is a weird game. Very strange. Um, I'm not sure what to gather from this, but... It was going pretty well up until that point. I, I'm not sure. Let me know if you know what went at, what just happened, because I don't. That was cool though. I like in the game. If you want to see more, let me know. Probably gonna play a couple more. Um, just kind of check it out. Try a few different builds out, and let me know if you like the game. Let me know what you think, and catch you on the next one.